Well, it is time to shop the shelves for some good stuff. So I think the last time I did one of these videos, I was working on this section here. Flash redial, oh wow, does this bring back memories for anybody? Look at this fish, look how spectacular he is. Oh, hello little chicky doo. to shop the shelves for some good stuff. Uh, I missed doing this last week, and so it's literally been two weeks since I have personally shopped the shelves of the Good Stuff Thrift Store. So this is going to be really fun to see what items have come in and made it to the shelves and what I will be putting in my whatnot sale on Monday. What's the date? I'll put it up. I'll put it up here. It's Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time on this date. Because <laughs> that's my brain. Uh, anyway, let's get inside and see what goodies are on the shelves and what else is going on at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. Come on, let's get shop done. Ah, well, as you can see, my incoming room is not quite set up like I talked about last week, but we're getting there. Um, I know it doesn't seem like we're getting there, but we're getting there. So we have just taken on two new nonprofits and we're working on a third one. It should be coming soon. So we have added Furtastic Friends Dog Rescue, which is out of Pahrump. And we added Hearts Alive Village, who... Those of you who are local may know that they had to close their thrift store, but never fear, you can come shop here at the Good Stuff Thrift Store and still support them. So we're very, very excited to bring them on. So all of this big stuff in the room is from them. This has just been dropped off like yesterday. So uh, we have to figure out where we're going with all this big stuff and we'll get this moved out. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna be giving this thing away. It's just, it's great. It's worth money, but it just takes up too much space and it's a bit of a long tail item to have here at the thrift store. So if you're local and you're interested, uh, please uh, send me an email, the niche lady at gmail.com and tell me when you can come and get it. And we'll make it, we'll make it so Obi-Wan. Uh, we just need it out of here. It's an inversion table. If you need that kind of thing, it's fantastic. But we need we need to get it out of the good stuff. Ooh, we got a poker table in. We yeah, it's a little bit of a mess up here in the front, so uh, we're not going to be able to get behind here and see what's on these very first shelves because we have uh, yes, all of this too. All of these racks just came in, but we'll squeeze over here. And in case you didn't know, the new thing that we have put into place is that if an item is here for more than 30 days, it is 30% off. If it is here for more than 60 days, it is 60% off. And you can see on our tags, there's a little date code up in the corner. So it's very, very easy to find those items. So super excited about getting that in place. People have been coming in, getting lots of deals. It solves the issue of the perception of some prices being too high because if they're too high, they will still be here at 30 or 60 days. So we just solved that problem. Like these beautiful Shafford cashmere rose plates, which honestly, I don't remember ever seeing these and sometimes just things just don't get found. I feel like, uh, yeah, those are gorgeous. Those are going to be the first thing in my lucky cart. All right. And all the things that go in my lucky cart will be in this week's whatnot sale. I see there have been some things brought down from my stage. So there is some white tags involved here. White tags are not part of the 3060, but the white tags are all negotiable. 
So if you want something with a white tag, which means it came out of one of the vendor's rooms, those are negotiable items. I mean, after all, everybody here wants to sell stuff. That's a Gans, he's really cute. Uh, we don't wanna show and tell. We wanna sell, so keep that in mind if you see something that you want. Look at this tray. It is glass, it's um, 2013. It looks like a handmade project. So it looks like they put all these little stickers and then they placed that over it. That's pretty clever. It's a little heavier than I, I want to be shipping for the whatnot sale. Ow, oh, I was just about to walk away and I spotted these really nice little hankies. Little embroidered stitchery. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, and then there's a larger piece here. Oh, there's more little hankies down below. And this is like a, is it a dress or scarf? Let's see. Oh, it is. It is, it is. Open, open, oh, oh no, it's, I don't know. What, what would you use this for? It looks like it's, oh, I was holding both things. Do you open? Do you open? <gasps> yeah, it's like a little dress or star, a scarf, but it's got slots, so I'm not exactly sure what its purpose is, but you know what? You know what? That's also going to go in my cart and be in the whatnot sale. And let's take a peek at these other beautiful little hankies. Again, there is a set of four, and because there's a set of four, and these are super easy to ship and lightweight, I'm going to put those in the whatnot sale this week. I am going to come and take a little peek in Crystal's room because she has once again given me permission to pick out a piece of her jewelry to offer in this week's Whatnot Sale. Now, she makes this jewelry out of broken Pyrex. She doesn't break the Pyrex, no worries. She takes pieces that would otherwise end up being tossed away because they have a chip or a crack and she makes them amazing again. So I'm probably going to pick out something pink this time to go with the Valentine's theme. And I will probably do a necklace unless I get some screaming comments saying I want something else to go in that sale. So yes, oh my gosh, look at all her little Valentine's cards. Oh, Crystal, Crystal, you make the most amazing things. Oh, look at these out of the um, Atomic. Oh, those are amazing. Yes, you definitely, if you get to come and shop at The Good Stuff, come into Crystal's room. It's straight in front of the door. She changes out her seasonal little uh, assemblage pieces. Right now, she's got them all 25% off. And they're, I mean, they're simply amazing. Look, she takes little vintage things and she makes, I mean, they're just, they're, they're amazing. I mean, I know I'm saying amazing a lot. Look, you can still use that little jar in there. Yes, Crystal does fantastic work. This one is a phone. Ugh, spectacular. And one of these days, we will do one of these pieces of the uranium glass, but this time we're gonna stick with Valentine's theme. So I think the last time I did one of these videos, I was working on this section here and we have started to fill this up. We try to put some of our, our nicer glass and make this a little bit more attractive. And I gotta tell you, it's really cool. We have sold almost all of the cookie jars that were here because they're all discounted now. So we know that pricing structure is working and uh, it's pretty exciting, it's pretty exciting. It's hard to get a new business going and figure out what's gonna work and what's not. Oh, perfumes. Now I do see a little bit of chipping on that one. We don't know, yeah, a little bit of chipping on that one. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to run these, even though they have a little bit of chipping. I start everything at a dollar, so I really would be happy to start these if you guys can overlook some of the little bit of damage on those. Just let me know in the comments. All I need is like two, two comments saying, yes, run the perfumes, 
and uh, I'll run them. And then look at this stunning piece. Wowza. Now, I don't think it's a super high-end glass or anything, but it's got a frosted and then a smooth... Let's see what the bottom looks like. It's got the frost on the bottom. I don't know much about the piece other than it's pretty fantastic. We've still got our big uh, white abstract kind of head. I guess abstract might not be the right word. It's a little it's a little modernist. Modernist, that's the word for him. Yes, it sells for about $150 online. So that's how we came up with our $89.99. We're still way, way under the online price, but it is a super nice piece. Look at this piece of Japanese silk art. And it is silk. This would be super easy to ship. So, and it's been here a while. So I think I will put this in the whatnot sale and just start it at $1. See what we got on the second and the third. What is that? What does that say? 2002, something community. This was like made for some specific event. Not sure about that piece. We've got a cast iron cross. Now, you guys really like the cast iron keys. Uh, so I'm thinking you might like a cast iron cross. I feel like I'm looking at the date scene. When did the, how long has this been here? It's only been here since the 31st. Mm. Again, leave me a comment if you want me to run the cast iron cross. Otherwise, I'll do it next week for sure. Uh, but I may not run it this week unless I get a lot of comments telling me to run it. Doorknob? Is it a doorknob? Is it a doorknob? It's kind of a fascinating piece. I don't know much about it, but it's been here a while, and I think it's time to run that on the whatnot sale. What is this little piece here? I feel like, oh, it doesn't come up. It just, it just says if you put something in it, it kind of forms into a little bowl, yeah? Or wait, we've got, I don't know, it's uh, doing all kinds of things here. I don't know, it's, it's kind of interesting, yes. What is on there, is it, is it a fish? Oh, it is a fish, I had it like the wrong way. That is a fish that's on my bucket list too. That looks to be a clown trigger. Mm. All right, let's put that in the sale too. And look, the doorknob has a friend. All right. Oh, look, I have another one of these crosses, too. So, see, we could sell a couple of those. Oh, my goodness. Look at this phone. Flash redial. Oh, wow. Does this bring back memories for anybody? I mean, the days of being on the phone. Oh, I kind of miss it. I kind of, I, I know it sounds weird, but I kind of miss being a little bit like tethered because this was like the original fidget spinner. You know, you're on your phone. Okay, this is what I did. I always did this with my fingers and I would like go through the coil. I, I, so I kind of miss this. Anybody else with me on that one? I feel like I'm probably not alone in that. Ooh, I think we saw this last time too and I questioned whether, to, you know what? I didn't put it in the sale last time because it was too new. So you know what? I think now's your lucky day. This is a beautiful crystal etched dish. Ashtray, if you will. It does have a little divot here on the side, but it's it's got two. So maybe it's like a cigar ashtray. Um, but it's got this little etched rose pattern in the bottom. And it's really nice quality. It's not signed, but it's super nice quality. So we'll run that too. Okay. We have this beautiful Mikasa black dish set here. Really needs to be laid out on a table because, man, it is beautiful. And then we have, what is that? Today's menu. Well, that's cool. It holds the butcher paper and, huh. I don't think it's meant to be like a menu. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe that's exactly what it's meant to be. That's really cute. I like that. We've got these South American, um, I don't know if they're made in Mexico or not. I know they're South American, they're not signed, they're more 
you know, kind of for the tourist trade. Let me know, again, you can always say down in the comments if you want me to run something. Let's see what we've got in the linens over here. I feel like these really adorable aprons are not getting the love they deserve. Oh, wait, it looks like maybe we sold. Oh, we sold the other ones. All right, so uh, this is the last apron we have left over here. And I would run that if somebody wanted me to. I'm always happy to run linens. You guys know I'm always happy to run linens because uh, we definitely get a lot of linens. And actually, I should just do like a linen sale. Maybe, maybe I'll do a little pop-up linen sale. And some of them will not be like vintage. Some of them will be more common. Uh, but I feel like that, that might be coming. Oh, here's another one of those baskets. See, this is what I thought that other one was going to do. Again, this one hasn't been here. Well, it's been here a couple of weeks, so I think I will run the apple basket. Let me get over to the cart, and I'll show you how cool this is and how it folds down. So you just turn it sideways, and voila, now you've got a flat storing basket. So I did sneak these out of the back because this is something that's a little bit hard to price and keep safe in the store. So I said, you know what? These are going to go straight to whatnot. And uh, there's a variety of vintage blocks. There's these nesting blocks. I just realized there's like a whole set of these nesting blocks here. There's the large one. Oh, that one doesn't. Oh, duh. That one goes on there and closes it up. They got a little, they got a little mushied at some point in their little life, which is unfortunate. I feel like they, they still have some life left in them. There we go. Yes. Yeah, so I have the nesting blocks there. I've got the nesting baskets. Look how old these are. And they've got little numbers on the bottom. No, it's not a number. Yeah, this is 14. So they have different varieties of numbers. Then I have the wooden little stacking shaper toy, and I have a plastic one as well. I feel like maybe, oh, look, I found more of these, so those will all go together. I'll go, I'll go through this and match up the ones that are supposed to be over here together. And those will all go. Then I'll do all the, oh, I feel like that probably goes on there. Yeah, I'll get these matched up, and then look at, there's some of the see-through ones. So we're gonna sell these. These are Kitty Craft Chicken and the Eggs. What? Oh, stand by. There are a lot of pieces to this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six layers. And when you get to the very bottom one, there's a little baby chick in the very bottom egg, little nesting eggs. Those are super vintage, super fun. And then there's barrels that do the same thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See if I left-handed, one-handed. Can I do it? I, I, stand by. Voila, no, couldn't do it one-handed. But same thing, nesting and in the bottom, it's a little bell. So these will all be in the whatnot sale on Monday. See, there's our little signs that we have all over the store. I am gonna spend some time in this cabinet this week. I have neglected to get to this cabinet as promised. And I see some really cute little things that have been added in here. So I am definitely getting to this cabinet this week and selling some of these little cutie pies in here. And then anything else you guys want. This will be a little bit of that shop the shelves kind of feel because this is super easy to just go through this case and, and pick out some things. Um, there's little salt and peppers in here. There's like a wood darning Whatcha who's thing. We got a nice um, carving set. We've got these really, really nice steak knives. They are Carvel, Carvel Hall. I could sell those this week. There's even a couple pieces of jewelry in here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna spend some time in this cabinet on Monday, for sure. Our kids section just grows and grows and grows. Look at this cool thing we have now this rack for baggies. So now we've got our toy baggies all hung up with some fantabulous toys mixed in there. And we just try to put a nice variety and then 
put a good price on it. So you get quite a few things. You can see we are now on to uh, uh, green tags. We switched out our yellow tags for green tags. And we will be doing some color sale kind of stuff too, but those will be more like pop-up kind of sales. Oh, what are these guys? Those are cute. Huh. Those are really cute. Yeah, I haven't shopped the baggies. Oh, I see My Little Ponies in there. That one's got some weird eyes. What's up with that My Little Ponies eye? Hmm, I know there's some things that have to do with the eyes on the My Little Ponies. And I'm not exactly, not exactly sure what it is, but well, there you go. All right, lots and lots of games and kid stuff. Maybe I'm just gonna have to do, I, you know, I can do pop-up whatnots anytime. I'm really going to start doing that once we get our shipping department a little more under control. I think we, we've got a plan in place that we can ramp up our shipping. So we're gonna be doing that. Watch for that soon. Look at how cute this guy is. Not a bite all day. He's adorable. Oh, we've got the Incredibles over here. What is this? It's a Burger King cup. A Smurf cup. Smurf cup. See? Now that's been here. One. Yeah. Well, no, not quite. It's not the on the 14th that goes down to 60%. Right now it's 30% off. So I feel like everybody needs a Smurf cup in their life. Still got this cute little girl's bedroom set display over here. I can't believe we still have this. These things are so expensive to buy online, but we still got it. And now it's 30% off. So there you go. And the big old dollhouse. We set up another table of cool stuff. Let me see what this Cardinal is here. Red bird kitchen towel. Well, that's all we're calling it. I, don't think it's a kitchen towel. I think it's some kind of maybe either a pot holder or just a decorative piece, but it's a cardinal and it's pretty and I'm putting that in the whatnot sale on Monday. I am also going to put the butterfly art in there. Enjoy the little things. This is a brand new packaged item. It's a paper butterfly, no worries. It's not a real butterfly. I know I've gotten a lot of flack over selling the real butterflies. But I think somebody in my audience is going to love this piece. It's bougie blue after all. So that will be in the whatnot sale. Now I'm going to have to uh, fix up some of these places. I'm pulling stuff away. This, let's see, 12 23 Okay, so it's 30% off. Uh, but it's a bee box. Woof! It's a bee box slipping out of my hand. Look how cute that is. Again, just let me know if there's anything you want me to run uh, that I'm not putting in the cart. Doesn't mean I won't sell it. Just gotta leave me a comment and let me know. Oh, that's soap. Oh, she's so cute. Who are you? Two scented bars. The woods are full of fairies. The sea is full of fish. The trees are full of golden leaves. Let's make an autumn wish. It's got mushrooms. Mushrooms and fairies. Oh, it's Mary Englebright. Mary Englebright, lavender soap. Oh, gosh, you know what, you guys? I'm going to run that. That is just really super cute. I'm going to work very hard to get these items into the catalog early in the day so that you guys can see what's in there. Do some pre-bidding if you can't be at the sale. Look at this fish. Look how spectacular he is. I don't do goldfish in my decor, uh, but I feel like somebody will. I feel like somebody will want this amazing silver colored fish. So he's going in my cart. This is what happens when you set out a table of goodness. Danny finds it. Wowza. I do love the ice cream set too. Summer's coming. Summer's coming. Okay, I just looked over and saw this tin sign. Toolin Hand Garage. Give us a crack at it. <laughs> oh, and then it's got the, you know, hourly $25 per hour. You watch $35 per hour. You help $50 per hour. 
We're going to sell that. That's amazing. I actually have this saying on a mug that sits next to my bed because it's a good reminder. Good morning. This is God. I will be handling all your problems today. Love it. Oh, we still have... Oh, it's not. I thought this was a some of those little stress balls, but it's not. This is... A mixed media travel altar. This is made by Annette. You might remember Annette's art from Dog Junkies. Well, here she is making us some really cool things. So let's put this in the sale. Little grandmother trinket box. What's in there? Oh, matchbooks, empty matchbooks. All right, let's see what else is going to call to me. I see an elephant mug. Who are you? Look at the trunk is the handle. Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. I've never been there. Omaha, that would be Nebraska. Yeah, I've never been to Nebraska. All right, just let me know if somebody wants me to run that. Just leave me a comment down below. I would be happy to. Always happy to. This is a delicate little trinket box, and I'm amazed that I don't see any broken edges on the flowers. Look at that, and it's been here like forever. So let's run that. It's really pretty. Oh, hello, little chickie doo. Oh, you're super cute. Vintage. It's an Arnell's 1983. Arnell's. This was a hobbyist piece that somebody painted, but look, they chose some really nice colors, and I think it's a planter, but it's almost like a little strawberry planter, actually. Oh, he's definitely going in the sale. Wow, this is what happens when I leave for a couple of weeks. We've got some depression glass. This just came out, though. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to run the depression glass. Otherwise, I will leave that on the shelf for another week or two. This is a this is a flash. This is not the color of the glass, this ruby. I feel like Westmoreland makes these. Um I think I think I think. This one also. Well, it's been out here. It's been out here for a little bit. Yeah, I could run that. I could run that. I'm looking at the flashing. The flashing's still in really good shape. And that's what you have to look for because they do get a little scratched and worn over time. Uh, but this one's really pretty. And because Valentine's Day is upon us, I'm going to run it now. All right. You can see we've been doing a little color blocking. Having a little fun with the merchandising. I do love shopping it this way. And I hope that everybody that comes in loves shopping it this way too. And then I'll show you, we've done something in the back. If you hang out with me a little while, I'm gonna show you what we've done. Look at the toucan. Oh my goodness. See, I offered to have bring Rachel with me today and she didn't wanna come. So, I'd let her snag the toucan. Oh, got a cute kitty. He looks like a hobbyist piece as well. Oh, it's Avon. <laughs> Who knew? He's cute. If I have a couple people say to run him, I would run him. Because remember, it takes at least two people to make an auction. Cute little salt and peppers. Both have their stoppers? They do. They're vintage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say maybe like 90s on these. But they're dainty and sweet. I'm sure they go with a particular pattern that I'm not recalling right now. Um, but I think we'll run those because they're sweet. Okay, now we're in like the black and brown section. We've got some black and white doggies and kitties. I would be happy to run these as well. Either, yeah, I'd have to run them as singles. I'd have to run them as singles. But they almost look like, you know, the white dog and the black cat could go together or the black cat and the white cat could go together or the black dog and the black cat could go together. You could do it all different ways all different ways. 
oops, those are cute too. Little uh, cowboy themed. But I just don't like the resin tops, but that's my personal, personal taste. Sometimes some of these can be pretty good. Oh, what's this? International Union of Operating Engineers. Somebody's retirement dinner little bowl from 1978. That's kind of cool. Don't be afraid to shine. Someone may need your light. Okay. Oh, that's a really pretty shalom plate. Does not have a maker's mark, but I love the colors and I think you guys will too. So I'm going to put that in the sale. Oh, here's another. This one is the MW Grand Lodge of Colorado Grand Opening in 1977. Interesting. Grand Lodge. So is that like a, is that the Masons? Oh, it is the Masons. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I think I will run that. Oh, I see another really pretty colorful dish back here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Handmade in Spain, Rio Salado. There is the price tag put over another tag. Looks like it was bought like, you know, TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something, but they get some really incredible stuff. I decorate my house with their stuff, and so I'm going to put that in the sale too. All right, we are going down getting into more like I got a lot of household goods coming in down here copper silverware that's kind of fascinating Reed and Barton silverware Ooh, I didn't even know we were getting all this cool silverware in little uh, acrylic pepper mill from old Thompson oh look at you you are a fused glass bird plate what? Oh, and you've been here. You've been here on the shelf and nobody snagged you. So, you know what? We're putting you in the whatnot sale. Okay. Oh, got some limes. You know, you put the lime in the coconut and you drink it all up. Who makes you? MSE, microwave and dishwasher safe. I don't know. I don't know MSE. Never heard of MSE. Oh, cookie plates. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Are they all oatmeal raisin? Or are they <gasps> gingerbread cookies? And <gasps> peanut butter cookies? And <gasps> chocolate chip cookies. Of course, you gotta have chocolate chip cookies. Those are pretty cool. Who makes you? You're not marked by who makes you. Cookie recipe plates. Those those are kind of handy too. You know, you have the uh, plate to put your cookies on, and you don't have to have like a paper recipe hanging out. And you refer to it, and then when they're done, you put your cookies on it. Uh, that seems pretty brilliant to me. Kind of love that. We have a little baggie of harmony, love, joy, little uh, little stones. I feel like that's a good whatnot item. Ooh, there's another really good saying. God doesn't give us what we can handle. God give God helps us handle what we are given. Man, that is so true. What is this guy up here? Texas tomatoes. See, this has been hiding somewhere. Uh, Cause I didn't even know we had this really cool tomato sign. And it's been here since we opened. Original California citrus crate labels. You know what? I will be putting that in the whatnot sale. This is so fascinating. I cannot believe it's still here. It's just such a cool, cool piece of decor. I know it's kind of big and so you have to have kind of the, the right spot for it. But look at the detail and the work put into this. Oh my goodness. It's so fun. All right. If it's still here at 60 days, somebody's going to get an incredible deal on that piece. 
got some little ballerinas. We got some more really, really pretty plates under here. What are these? That's interesting with the heart. Hand painted Japan. That's all they say. Hand painted Japan. Does this match the one? It is. Now I got a set of four. Ah, <sighs> it got separated from its friends. That's interesting too. Who makes you? You are not marked. You are not signed. You have some crazing. Let's see, and who are you? With the watermelon on it, just says hand painted. That's it. Pretty little plates. Again, if I pass something, if I don't specifically put it in my cart, just let me know down in the comments and I will go grab it and run it in the sale. All right. Got some corningware, spice of life. Oh, what are these cute little dishes down here? Let's take a peek at those. You are Petite Flora Ironstone, made in Japan. That's a really, really cute pattern. Really cute, but you know me. I don't want to, I don't, I'm sorry guys. I don't want to ship a thing of plates. Oh, these are interesting. They're magnets. 3D magnets is what we call them, but we've got gargoyles. And I know gargoyles are always a hit in my whatnot sales, so I'm going to put these three pieces in my cart. We still got the Jack Russell puppy guy. Somebody had asked me to run these the last time and we ran out of time to go and snag them. So these are some vintage felt uh, dishes keepers. So we will run those this time. No problem. All right, I think that about does it for this section. So our baggy wall has been a hit and it's growing. We keep putting more and more stuff over here on the baggy wall. And I moved my sign over that goes up onto my stage so that we could put another section of baggy wall here. That's coming very soon. Oh, we got a little boo-boo up there. We got to fix. They moved our thermostat to the back. So we've uh, actually fixed the temperature in here. Now we have to go and get the, um, the smart smart thermo thermostats smart thermostats yes that's what they're called because you know everything has to be smart nowadays there's lots of craft supply stuff up here see lots and lots of craft supply stuff many of these are dated over 30 days so they're discounted we also have you know if you bring a donation into the store you get 10 percent off as well so there's always places to get a discount here here's our little kind of nautical themed area. See if there's anything here that tickles your fancy. Ah, somebody did ask me to run the sunflower starfish. And I did, I looked it up because I was mesmerized by this. It's an actual species of starfish. It's called a sunflower starfish. Uh, this one's been mounted on acrylic and then that's, I believe that's actually a piece of coral on the back as well that's been painted red. Uh, super cool piece. So we'll run that too. The seagull mug just caught my eye. He's been here for a little bit. So we will go ahead and put him in the cart as well. I just looked and now it's like a little wayward seahorse got separated from his friends up here. These are really fun. They look like they could be party light, but they are not signed as such. They're terracotta with some of that kind of uh, like a model glaze. I feel like we're going to sell those this week. All right, let's see what we got going down this side. Ooh, we've got dishes, dishes, dishes. And we do our dishes uh, separately, like we price them separately. We no longer price things as a whole set. So that way, if there is just like one or two bowls that you need, you don't have to buy like the whole set to get them. We're going to piece them out. Still tons of craft supplies. Oh, we got these Aline's Big Book of Crafts up here. 
I will be putting more books in the buy now section of the of the sale. Uh, so many of you keep asking for that and are really happy with the books that you're getting. So we will do that. We will do that. We put them in there for just a dollar because they're really lightweight. So it's one of those items that if you buy a book first, then the heavier stuff has discounted shipping. And that works out really well for a lot of people. So we're happy to do it. Happy to do it. Carrie is still away this week. A lot of people going, where's Carrie? You don't make videos with Carrie anymore. Carrie has been working trade shows. That is kind of her her little side hustle that she does. And so she leaves me for for weeks at a time, much to my dismay. And uh, she goes and does her trade shows. So that's why you have not seen Carrie in my video. But as soon as she gets back, we're going shopping because that's what we're going to do. This bag is kind of cool. Engineering Services Property of Union Pacific. It's like a little tote bag kind of a thing. See what I'm talking about? We have linens galore. And I feel like a lot of those need to get hung up. Should not be crammed on a shelf. So maybe I'll work on that when I get done filming this video. We've got our electronics section. Kind of starts here. We have our DVDs, our movies. Look at, look at all these books. All of these books are um, needing new homes. And then we have our hardbacks all over here needing new homes. And then this, <laughs> it didn't take long to fill up these gondola shelves. See why they were so desperately needed? This is kind of, I call it the man step over here. It is tools and hardware and gadgets and gizmos galore. <laughs> and uh, then we have some kitchen appliances down here. And then we have sporting goods over here. Um, this, is a, this is a big section of stuff. We got these really cool North Face tote duffel bags. And these stuff are like $100, $125 over on eBay. I was shocked to see how much those sell for. And then over here... We have our pillows. We've moved our pillows onto these shelves. Oh, that's really cute. I like that pillow. And looks like we got a little mishmash has made its way over here. Hmm, gonna have to deal with that. Oh, okay. Well, this is the shelf I normally put my things for the whatnot sale in. So uh, I'm gonna have to move a few things around, but hey, we could do some teacups. We've got quite a few teacups and cute little things here so maybe I'll just leave this and we'll shop this shelf when I start the sale we can do that more pillows oh my goodness we even got a rug and I'll have to show you our art wall in just a moment because Noah's done a fantabulous job arranging the art wall we got a little RBG looking over things here what is this girl oh She's a little fascinating. Huh. I don't know how I feel about her. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if I updated you guys. All of our shoes are now up on top of the clothing racks to make them much, much easier to shop. So I am super excited that we finally got that project done as well. We have Funko Pops. We've got some cool pieces of art. We got, they're all stitched. This one's got Hocus Pocus and Stitch. Isn't that Jesse from Toy Story? And then uh, Michael Jackson Stitch. I feel like I could run those. Those would be super easy to ship as well. And then we've got our jewelry counter in over here. So I will just give you a little scan of the jewelry that we have here. So if you see anything that really catches your attention and you want me to run, I feel like I need to do just like a jewelry whatnot sale. Again, as I said, as I get my shipping department kind of ramped up, we're going to be adding more and more of the little pop-up sales because I really want all of these nonprofits to make the most money possible out of here. I don't think I even showed you. We actually redid our entire cash counter uh, so we added this was what we had before so we added 
this section and that section. We expanded it so that there's more room to work back there. We've got our shopper's holding area here that you can place things as you're shopping. Um, Betsy has made us some really awesome signage. Thank you so much, Betsy. And uh, so things are really coming along. So now let me show you the art wall because this is all Noah. This is all, Noah has hung every piece of art that we have up on this wall. Bless his heart. Because <laughs> there's a lot of it. And there's still, we still got some pieces on the floor down here that we need to get up there. But look at that boy go. Look what he has done. Oh man, he is the best. So I'm not gonna go inside the vendor booth today, but be watching. Mikey Bags of Money and Sunny Las Vegas are back up and running on Whatnot. So they will sell things from their room on a regular basis. Carrie, once she comes back, we are probably gonna do a Carrie Whatnot sale. Tiffany, watch for her to do her own Whatnot sale. And, there's a very loud noise just right by the back. The Picker Road, uh, those are the Conlins. That is Will and Harleen and Gary, who I go yard sailing with. They are now doing Whatnot sales as well. So they're all selling their stuff through Whatnot. Crystal lets me bring a piece over into my Whatnot sale and she's on Etsy. So Crystal Van Ho, you can find her on Etsy. So everybody's covered if you want to shop all their stuff. Uh, so for now, I'm going to sign off because it's Sunday and I get some downtime today, believe it or not. Actually, we spent the morning cleaning bird cages and putting new toys in, because that's super important. About once a month, we do a deep clean where we pull all of their food and water dishes out and really like scrub them and, and do all that. So that's that was the morning. Uh, so it was fun, but it was a lot of work. So I'm gonna get back, kick up my heels, and see you tomorrow on Whatnot at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And if you are not already signed up on Whatnot, please be sure you use the link down in my description because that will get you $15 to come and spend over on Whatnot and have some fun. All right, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.